professional service with no appointment needed. The 52nd Toyota Tamworth Country Music Festival coverage on Tamworth's best festival coverage, 1287 2 TM. Well, I'm here with Laurie and Shelley Minton in the studio. But before we get to that, I've got to talk about Optus uh, 2TM are covering the 2024 Toyota Tamworth Country Music Festival. Thanks to Optus in Peel Street. So we thank you for all their support over the festival and all the artists that are here talking to us and talking about their gigs, their shows and what they've been up to. But the swinging door of talent, as I like to call it, has just opened again. And Laurie and Shelley Minton have walked in. Hello, Good guys. Morning. How are you going? Good morning, Ronnie. How are you Great going? To be Good. Here. Yeah. Yes. Good. Day one. Yeah, well, we're we good. Everyone. <laughs> we actually uh, did the last two nights at West League, so we're feeling we're feeling pretty worn in already. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a marathon, not a sprint. That's right. So you've got to pace yourself. Yeah, I don't know where to start. Slim Dusty, 81, 82. Uh, for me, yeah. Yeah, yeah Lee yeah. Kernigan. It's just I don't make sure. make yeah, you feel yeah, old, no, Laurie. I just I remember actually the very first uh, Golden Guitar Awards in the Town Hall, and uh, just to see. Uh, how it's grown, um, and my story, I guess, is, is part of all that. Um, yeah, touring with Slim and um, did nearly 18 years with Lee Kernigan and um, still going. Um, so um, um, it's just been um, wonderful. Um, I think coming from Tamworth, the best thing that ever happened to this place, you know. Yeah. Growing up here as a kid, it was a bit of a rough old joint in the early days, but yeah. uh, it's taught the locals all about hospitality, how to put on a smile and make people feel welcome. And I think it's made the town a much more friendly place. Uh, actually, it's, it's sort of a, a very popular place for people to move to now. Um, it, and it I is, think yeah. the festival's got a lot to do with that. Yeah. How, how's it changed over the years? Uh, the festival? Yeah. Um, well, look, I think um, originally the idea was to uh, create a... a you know, I was talking about there's a, a beautiful old clip of my dad floating around uh, on the internet at the moment. And uh, uh, back then it was, um, the idea was to create a, a place where country musicians and artists uh, could come to. And it made sense to uh, have it at the um, at the end of the year because a lot of the touring shows had sort of knock off at Christmas. And so um, January was the perfect time for them to all get together. Uh, and, uh, and then the idea of the Golden Guitar Awards to celebrate their achievements. Uh, but it was very, um, it was a very simple sort yeah. of uh, festival. And if you look at the old programs, uh, you know, over three or four days, that type of thing, and uh, even some of the shows, they'd be repeating them just to fill it out a little bit more. Uh, uh, but um, there was a wonderful, uh, I would say, simplicity about it all. Uh, but then as time has gone by, um, the commercial aspect has yeah. kicked in in a big way. Um, which is good, but that also comes with its own set of problems. Um, but I think uh, for the town, it's made the town very prosperous. Uh, and um, even though it's it sort of it evolves, it, it changes, things come and go. Um, there's I think there's still a, a spirit and a willingness to um, keep nurturing the festival, and most people uh, realise that it's a really good thing for the place. I was at the Academy of Country Music graduation concert last night. Right. It's in good hands, country music. There you go, tell yeah. you, so I think we'll be around for a while. Yeah, I, we got the invite, but um, we were playing, we had a gig last night, so uh, as right. a working muso, you've got to sort of take <laughs> well, the money. <laughs> you do, yes, yes, you do. You see. When it's there, you gotta, not often you get a paying gig on a Wednesday night around here. So <laughs> oh, you might get one next Wednesday as well, you never oh, know. Sorry, Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday, <laughs> yeah. Now, Shelley, I love your 50s style. Oh, thank it's you very absolutely much. Great. What's the. Is it? It's close to your heart. What's the reason for it? Or why the why the fascination? Yeah, well, I kind of got into it back in 2010. I was working at West Tamworth School in the office, and a girl came in and said, "Oh, you know, you'd really love this website, Pin Up Girl Clothing." And I had a look, and it was this 50s inspired fashion. And I don't know. I just guess I just found it quite feminine, and uh, you know, you can. Don't have to. It's one of them uh, styles that it's sort of inclusive of all shapes and, and I think ages as well. And so I got into the clothing and then a few years uh, after that, I started performing. It was actually after Laurie finished up with Lee Kernigan when he took on the Wolf Brothers and I just started singing a little bit and I gravitated towards the 50s music. So it all kind of just flowed in together. Yeah. Well, you carry it well. Oh, really well. <laughs> thank you very yep. much. 
<laughs> Your debut album, Rockability, you launched it in Vegas in That's 2017. Right. Why, have, why Vegas? Well, they have the world's largest rockabilly festival over there. It's called Viva Las Vegas. And uh, we performed there as well in 2015, and we just thought, well, that's a good excuse to uh, to launch this album there. And, um, yeah, it, it's, it was a fantastic festival. It has all the uh, burlesque and pin-up and uh, had some great performers there that year, like Wanda Jackson and Brenda Lee and and um, Dougie Kershaw. So you, you, you're you there with the best of them. And, uh, yeah, we, we have been working on my second album. It's just been a bit slow going. <laughs> Well, as long as it's coming. It is. Uh, fantastic. <laughs> now, some people may not know, but you're actors as well. Oh. Actors. Yeah, I'm going to call you actors. Oh. Charlie well, yeah. and Boots. That's right. Actually, we, well, yeah. Yes, we did have um, back with Matt Scully and had a song called Giddy Up and they yep. played that on the film Charlie and Boots and we were the band and I had to pretend to play a fiddle, but after about 10 minutes or so, they decided to give me a tambourine. <laughs> I wasn't very convincing, <laughs> but uh, yeah. But actually, well, speaking Ronnie, of movies, yeah, we Ronnie, do have now, some exciting news. I can give you a world exclusive oh, yes, this morning. Please. No yes, one, please. this hasn't been. It's sort of been made public, but it, this is the first time on radio uh, I'm going to be talking about it. Uh, there's a man called Anupam Sharma. Um, he's been making Bollywood movies for the past 25 years, and he's arriving mm. next weekend for the main weekend. Right, and he's going to film a. A feature full-length movie about the story of Bobby Cash uh, from India. Now, Bobby mm -hmm. came over in the early 2000s, and uh, I helped get an album. I produced an album for him. We wrote some songs. And 20 years later, the um, Anupam's going to... It's, it's sort of... It's, it's a movie. Um, it's going to be called One in a Billion, The Story of Bobby Cash. They're going to be filming the Festival 25. And uh, Anupam's coming over here to meet me because he wants to get to know me and figure out who's going to play me in the movie. Wow. So we're <laughs> thinking... <laughs> you can't play yourself? I've got a list. Um, <laughs> no, because it's sort of a, a dramatic uh, enactment right. of the story. So it'll be okay. someone playing Bobby. Well, hopefully um, Brad Pitt's not busy. Well, that's right. We were thinking Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Hugh Jackman, yeah, possibly. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's, it's <laughs> I can see it. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we get to meet Anupam next weekend. We're going to take him to the Gold Guitar Awards. Uh, um, but there, yeah, they've got the funding. There's a new treaty uh, between the Australian film industry and the Indian film industry that was just ratified last November. So it's very exciting. That is excellent. Yeah, yeah. So good to because the Indian film industry is. is Massive. Phenomenal. Absolutely massive. Huge. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And Anupam's right in the middle. I mean, like I say, he's mostly done Bollywood. Um, he did a movie on Brett Lee. Yep. Um, his latest one is called um, um, Bollywood Down Under, brand Bollywood Down Under. Yep. That just came out uh, late last year. Um, so world exclusive there, Ronnie. That's the first. <laughs> oh, well, thank. I'm honoured. Thank you very much. <laughs> that is brilliant. I love that. I love that. That is great. So that's next week. We might be able to see if we can find him. Yeah, I'm sure he'd chat. love to come in and have a chat. We could probably bring him out if uh, he's arriving. It's just for the weekend. So yeah, well, yeah. if we can get him here, that would be great. Oh, well, but um, well, be yeah, great. Okay. with that mood, Charlie and Boots had had Paul Hogan in it, of course, and That's Shane Jacobs right. and Matt Scullion as the uh, sunglass wearing lead singer <laughs> in, the, in the in the hall. It was a great movie, by the way. A great Aussie movie. If you yeah, get a chance I, to I see thought it, so too. I was it. surprised it didn't do a Actually, bit better. We've got a Matt Scullion uh, a song that we're going to play yeah, today that that's uh, right. I wrote with Matt. So yeah, mm. that's oh, right. now festival. Where are you playing? Okay, well, this afternoon we've actually got songwriters at the press that Laurie and I are hosting uh, from 2 o'clock to 5, and that's just a really awesome, it's going to be an awesome afternoon. Uh, any songwriters that are in the area can come along and sing their original songs, and it's also welcome for the public to, to come along and listen. You just never know who's going to turn up, and uh, we always have a great variety of um, songwriters. Oh, and yeah, I mean, last year... People are there, and, and Alan Caswell walks in and, and sings on the inside. You know, and wow! It's like it's a small, very intimate venue, uh, and um, you know, obviously there's songwriters that people haven't heard of. But then you'll get someone that's a high-profile uh, writer will come yeah. in uh, unexpected. Um, next thing you know, you're, you're being treated to something very, very special. So yeah, that's this afternoon, and then that's Shelley's right. uh, hosting. Yeah, country the country turns pink. turns pink on Sunday the 21st at uh, Wes in Blazers. Uh, this will be the third year in a row I've been lucky to co-host it. And uh, it's all the funds go to the Cancer Council New England. Um, so they've got a, a huge range of uh, artists performing, Adam Harvey and uh, just many others, even some local artists, Rob Breeze. 
and it's a great night. Uh, it, it's well worth supporting. Uh, yeah, we've got quite a few things. Um, also live and local in the park on the Thursday oh, yeah. night, yeah. which uh, you're going to be hosting yeah, with, uh, with, with the lovely yep. Elise. Yep. So we're really looking forward to that, to getting on the on the big park, Toyota yeah, Park yeah. stage. And, um, yeah, just a few bits and pieces. Laurie's going to be in the Back to the Bush band and... Um, We've got oh, Laurie's hosting the Maton show. Yeah, we've got the Maton show at West on uh, okay. Thursday morning. Um, also working with, I've uh, been uh, in Andrew Farris's band for about the last four or five years. So we've got a show at the press um, as well. Okay, um, great stuff. Sort of and check the one. guide for yeah, Ellie, so that's right. And if you're still around yep. on the last Sunday, if you're not too exhausted, we've got one last show at West from four thirty to seven thirty. So that'd be awesome to see people there if they're not too. Yeah. That can be out. a very mellow one. Just how <laughs> oh, we're done. Yeah, that's right. We'll all calm down. I was, I was, actually, I was so tired last year. I left my guitar there. Uh, I just walked <laughs> off and left it. And I got a phone. I, thankfully, I try to label all my gear. You know, yep. I got a phone call the next day from the, uh, the guy doing sound. Uh, I think you've left your guitar. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that'd be right. <laughs> uh, now, um, you've got a guitar in your hand, Laurie, which means sure, we're going to yeah. hear some fantastic we'll music. So what are we going to hear? Yeah. Well, we've got a brand new song. It's not even released. It's so new. Yeah, and it's uh, called Riverbank Red, and Laurie wrote this one with our good buddy Matt Scullion, who's uh, up for a few Golden Guitar That's Awards right, yeah. this weekend, so yeah, good luck, couple, Matt. Yeah. It's called Riverbank Red. <laughs> Don't need much, just a blanket for a bed. Sitting with my honey, drinking Riverbank Red Shade of a gum tree swaying overhead Sitting with my honey, drinking Riverbank Red Rhythm of the river Rolling round the bend, you and me together Wish this day would never end Don't need much, just a blanket for a bed Sitting with my honey, drinking Riverbank Red one more kiss, boy, you're going to my head. Sitting with my honey, drinking riverbank red. Sitting with my honey, drinking riverbank red. Songbird singing. I love this melody. I know what you're thinking. They're just like you and me Don't need much, just a blanket for a bed Sitting with my honey, drinking riverbank red One more kiss for you going to my head Sitting with my honey, drinking riverbank red Don't need much, just a blanket for a bed Sitting with my honey, drinking riverbank red. One more kiss for you going to my head. Sitting with my honey, drinking riverbank red. Don't need much, just a blanket for a bed. Sitting with my honey, drinking riverbank red. Cool breeze blowing and the sun about to set. Sitting with my honey, drinking riverbank red. Sitting with my honey, drinking riverbank red. Sitting with my honey, drinking riverbank red. Just a sitting with my honey, drinking riverbank red. Oh, Laurie and Shelley Minson, 1287 2 TM, thank you so much. That was brilliant. Thanks, Ronnie. Thanks so much for having us, have Ronnie. A, have a great festival, and we'll um, see you around the traps, I'm pretty sure. Enjoy it, and um, stick by Cody Walker, too. He is amazing. <laughs> I see you on your hat. He is brilliant. He was fantastic last night. Yeah, Thanks, guys. Great. Thank okay. you very much. Right, Laurie and Shelley Minson on 1287 2TM. Get your